what's up gentlemen so if i'm being completely honest with myself every single woman i've ever dated and the woman i've married has been out of my league and the reason i say that is because on paper they could literally have like any dude they wanted but instead they ended up with me not that I think I'm like hideous or anything like that, but if I'm being honest with myself, I'm a short dude, I'm five foot six and a little bit, I got pointy little ears, I got a high voice, and I definitely don't have a big sausage. Combine that with the fact that when I dated like every single woman and married my wife, I was broke with a capital broke. So why and how did I end up getting these super spicy senoritas that were out of my league to chase me? Today, guys, I'm gonna go over my strategy on how you can outkick your cover. Speaking of coverage, gentlemen, if you want to check out what is covering my upper body, it's a shirt from Cuts. Cuts is the best. It is my all-time favorite clothing company. Not only do they have super sexy t-shirts, long sleeve Henleys, long sleeve tees, they've also now got joggers that are honestly the best I've ever worn. They've also got bomber jackets, not to mention hoodies. I'm gonna link to Cuts down below, guys. If you're interested right now, they are having like crazy deals and sales for the holidays. And so if you're interested in upgrading and elevating your style this year, hit the link and check out Cuds. Do not wait because they always sell out of the super sexy styles and all of the styles are definitely sexy. Hit the link, check them out. Now let's get you a date. The first step to date women that are technically out of your league, gentlemen, is to stop it. Stop thinking and categorizing people based on their looks. But she's too pretty. She'll never date me. You're right. She'll never date you. You know why? Not because she's pretty, because of your shitty attitude. Gentlemen, you are amazing. The moment you stop putting yourself in a box and thinking about other people as more or better, that is the point in which you are going to dominate, whether or not it's life, it's relationships, or spicy ass senoritas. Which brings me to the second step of dating extra spicy senoritas, and that is identify your insecurities. And once you've identified them, then fix them if you can. Everybody has insecurities, but the other reality is that they're invisible. Nobody can see what yours are. Identify what they are. Deal with them if you can. If there's something about you that's holding you back or you're worried about and you can fix it gentlemen fix it and if you can't fix it fuck it gentlemen you are amazing we all have weird little insecurities we all have weird quirks every single one of us is unique special and different but the truth is there's only one you and you are amazing the third step in the alpha m get extra spicy senoritas to chase you is to work on your body one of the reasons why i was confident even though i was a short dude even though i grew up poor was that i had a good body i had a nice body i worked out starting from the age of like 12 and so i was always like super proud of my physique and the other amazing thing is that when you start taking better care of your body and working out it does a lot of things one of those things is boost your self-esteem and confidence it makes you feel better about yourself now I'm not saying that you need to have a chiseled six-pack or glutes of steel but if you are somebody that is insecure about the way that you look physically change your body change your life the fourth step to get extra spicy senorita to chase and pounce on you like you're a stylish gazelle is to be a stylish gazelle Gazelle. Clothing will literally change your life. When you love the person you see looking back at you in the mirror, gentlemen, anything and everything is possible. Think about it like this. When you throw on a well-tailored suit, right, what happens? Boom! You're more confident. You're looking people in the eye. You're more engaging. You feel awesome because you know you look awesome. The problem, though, is that most dudes don't wear suits on a daily basis. They're dressed down more casually. And that is the reason why I have fallen in love with the brand Cuts. Every time I put on a cut shirt, Cuts joggers, cuts bomber, cuts hoodie. It makes me feel like the man. Every time I put on a cut shirt, literally, it instantly makes me feel more confident. And the reason is pretty simple, because the fit is flawless, the style is perfect, and it accentuates my positive attributes, but it's not too tight in the midsection, exposing the fact that I maybe or maybe not have been eating not so clean. Gentlemen, the other thing that I love about cuts, it's not just shirts, right? They have expanded their line to not only have a amazing t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, Henleys, hoodies. They also now have badass bombers that I absolutely have fallen in love with. Check it out. This is the new Cuts Bomber that they recently dropped, and it is absolute sheer perfection. The style is perfect, the quality is insane, and it just fits me flawlessly. When I throw this on, I automatically feel like the man. I also know that I look sexy. Speaking of sexy, guys, if you are somebody that loves joggers, Cuts recently came out and launched their joggers, and these things are literally the best joggers, casual, athleisure wear, pant I have 
ever worn. These pants are literally perfection. Nice and tailored and tapered through the leg, not too overly tight at the ankle. They've got pockets, they've got a zipper, they've even got belt loops. They've got elastic on the side. These things are amazing. Free button Henley, gentlemen, this is my go-to. You guys have all seen this shirt like 6,000 times. I've literally had this cuts three button Henley for about two years. I've worn it probably a hundred times. It still looks as good as the day I got it. And the reason is because of the quality of cuts. The fabric is amazing. The fit is flawless. And the thing that you're going to love so much about cuts is that you basically get the design in your shirt. You get to pick whether or not you want a crew neck, you want a v-neck, or you want a Henley. You pick the sleeve length, whether or not you want a short sleeve or long sleeve, and you also pick the hem. And that's the thing that I love so much. The reason why cuts are kind of like next level is because of the subtle details. And the fact that you actually get to choose a curved hem, elongated, or a split hem, guys, it makes the shirts unique. It makes them special. For me, I love the curve. I also also love the split because I got a little bit of a booty and junk in the trunk. Slut. I am a cut slut. I love them so freaking much. I know you guys are going to love them as much as me. I literally am waiting for them to come out with denim because everything else that I've gotten from them has been like the best I've ever worn. Guys, hit the link down below. Check out Cuts. That link is special. You got to go through there in order to get the deal. Whether or not you're looking for a hoodie, you're looking for some badass joggers. And when I say badass, these things are the best. You're looking for short sleeves, long Long sleeves, Henleys, sweatshirts, did I say sweatshirts, bomber jackets, gentlemen, it doesn't matter. The fact is, Cuts is going to help you look extra sexy and keep your style on point. Fifth step in the Alpha M, get extra spicy senoritas to chase you plan is to actually improve and work on your personality. Two things in particular, your sense of humor, not to mention your sense of adventure. Be funny and be more fun, all right? So two ways that you can do that and actually show and highlight that, all right? The one thing I have said is a huge personality hack is is memes. Memes are one of the greatest sense of humor hacks. The way that it works, if there's a meme channel on Instagram or something that you follow, or you see something that's funny, and you send it to somebody via text or wherever, the person opens it, sees it, laughs, and associates that feeling of funniness and laughter with you, even though you're not funny, you send it, which makes you actually funny. And then in terms of you being more adventurous and fun, guys, no problem. When you go out and do things, experience things, what I want you to do is simply take pictures, post it on your social profile, letting people People know, hey, you're out there, you're trying, you're exploring, you're experimenting, you're living life in an amazing way. Sixth step, gentlemen, is to make her feel special without kissing her ass. One of the biggest mistakes that a lot of guys make when they see or meet a super sassy, spicy, extra spicy woman, they like automatically lose their mind and they start kissing their ass and bending over backwards, right? It's simping. Well, if you can resist the urge, push it down and just be real, be open, be honest, that's what's going to set you apart from other people. What happens is a lot of guys put on an act or facade trying to make themselves appear better or bigger than they actually are. But if you're present, if you're open, if you're honest, if you're engaging and have real conversations conversation and dialect, this is going to set you apart from everybody else and automatically make you more attractive. And last but certainly not least, the seventh step in the Alpha M's plan to get extra sassy, spicy senoritas to pounce and chase you like you are a stylish, well-chiseled, sexy gazelle, gentlemen, is to just do it. Don't think, don't overanalyze, just do it. The one thing I can promise you is that you will miss 100% of the shots you don't take, as they say. You need to be willing to get out there. You gotta be willing to take a risk, but do not get in your head. Do not overanalyze. Don't think about it, just do it. Literally, if you look at the most beautiful women in the world and then look at their dudes, how extra sexy are they? Like, like average, right? Some of them are like, okay, but the truth is a lot of them are just average, regular dudes. And you're like, what is going on? Is it because they're loaded? They have a lot of money? Possibly sometimes but not always they went for it they're like yo I got nothing to lose so I'm just gonna try it I'm gonna throw it out there I'm gonna be a good dude I'm gonna be friendly I'm gonna be stylish I'm gonna go up and I'm going to engage and guess what happens mind blown she's like sure because you know what the prettier girls aren't getting asked out or approached as much as more average looking women because guys are intimidated gentlemen don't be intimidated by shit you are amazing and she should be intimidated by you because of how awesome and amazing and extra sexy I think you actually are.